dodgy, what they call a blind man sword, or a blind man cane, whichever. Double summarize, uh, this is what they had, you know, the ones that had no sight. Okay. You know. They're all about, say about 37, 38 inches with this. Yeah, you know, kids don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you know, the end of the day. これ取られたら終わりだな。ああ、やろう。Uh, Kamor basically is, 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 a, is, um, is a crane, uh, which is the sharpest, you know, uh, most, most warriors going to war them with a look up if they saw a Kamor in a crane, they would consider that they were going to have victory that day. But this is... It has a nice blood groove to it, which is this back here. When you, like, how did you study, though? How, how did I study them? Well, it, start, it started like, um, I was about 11 and a half. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't actually touch a sword until I was about 12 or 13. Uh, Mr. Soto, which was my teacher way back then, uh, we started off with what, what we called uh, 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 Bokken, you know, wooden swords. And, which, you know, like, I don't like to sound like I'm bragging or anything. That's the that's my whole point, you know. But uh, you know, um, in order in order to learn to use a sword, you have to learn how to use a stick. My interest is in swords. Is swords, knives. You can throw. It's quiet. No one else get hurt. It's just that person. It's always relaxed, quick motions that you do, even with Celtic knives. Knives. reason they call this a double shadow because you have a double it's a double edged blade plus it goes in this is a blade also on the inside you know it was designed by Gil Hibbins when he came out with this what 15 years ago 20 no it's 15 20 years ago he came out with this and it's I've, I've, uh, I don't know if you could zoom in on the blade tip or not, but you can see that it's a good throwing. It's balanced enough to throw. What's the proper way to throw?
How do you throw a rock? That's the question. But you see, you only throw, you use your elbow. You don't just throw, you use the elbow. And when you let loose, that's a straight shot. This is what you call imitation. This would be an imitation um, fighting knife. You know, I would call it imitation because it's not balanced well, you know. The reason I talk about balance is because, like, you don't know when you're going to throw it or when you have to throw it, what angle that you're going to be at, you see. Okay. Here. Feel this. This is not that balanced. In terms of, like, weight. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. When I hand you this, you'll see what balance is. That's a double shadow. It feels like... Oh, it's like weight on both sides. Yes. Like... You see, that, that, that is the whole point of, of uh, having these, you know, balance. So that if you're in a, if you're going to throw it sideways, if you're going to throw it forward, you know, you know you're going to stick. See, like this. This is just a, a little. This is a case, I think. Yes, case by case. See, like when you hold it like this. This, this is how you would hold it to throw it. If you're gonna use a blade, be, be, be sure that you know what you're doing. Sure. You know, because, um, you know, um, it kills, you know, blades kills, you know, I mean, like, uh, they say a bullet kills, but then again, a blade kill you slowly. You think you just have a scratch, but then again, you know, pierce one of your vital organs. You know, know what you're doing. Don't kill yourself. Be careful.